when I was doing cat, I had a bag, a duffel bag, one of these, you know, you go to Cabela's or you go to the Bass Pro or Walmart, you know, sporting goods section and get the $15 duffel bag. And it's got two weeks worth of socks, black socks. It's got two weeks worth of underwear, one pair a day. It has... Just cut it in half and turn them inside out. Yeah, right. (laughs) Um, I would have... At least a week's worth of t-shirts, but I probably, I got to the point pretty quickly where I, I had bins full of clothes everywhere. Um, because the, the reason why you bring all that, and then you have like two or three or four storm shirts, um, maybe two storm shirts. And then I would get like some solid color golf shirts that kind of match those shirts. They just didn't have like company right. logos on them as backups. Cause if I show up wearing a golf shirt, people aren't, you know, it's as long as I got like the, the, company hat on and the company door magnet and I hand him a card with company, you know, logo on it. You can get away with not wearing a storm shirt for, and why, you know, if, the, if your storm shirts get dirty and it's not laundry day yet. So then that, that's, that's about how long it's going to be before you get a break to where you can stop and take three hours or whatever, however long it takes and do laundry. Right. So you can wear the, I, I was the reason why I wear the t-shirts because you can wear, you could put a fresh t-shirt on every day wear the same golf shirt for two or three days in a row, maybe before it starts to get a little, depending on how hot it is. If it's like cool fall or you're in the Northeast or something like that, or it's cool summer in Minnesota. Yeah, not the places I work. Texas. <laughs> I mean, you may have to change all of your clothes every, every day. day. So the same thing with thing with pants. Like, so you've got, you know, several pairs of maybe three or four pairs of khakis, always mm-hmm. khakis. And then they'll, they'll stay clean enough to wear. Maybe, so, You can wear them for a few days before people are like. Yeah, we're all different in that regard because I have some plastic tubs that I would load up, and I have how many pairs? I have eight pairs of pants. I have eight golf shirts. They're all the same color, and I have you know pretty much eight of everything. I find time to do laundry. I I find the time one day. You know, find wash and fold places too that'll do. Yeah, and I I know a lot of, and that's the other thing. A lot of guys they'll use the wash and fold places versus if I'm, you know, I was using RV some of the time this past year, and sometimes I was in a hotel or in the evenings when I was, you know, finished writing claims or whatever, so was organizing. I go throw a load in the washing machine, go upstairs, work for forty five minutes, set my alarm, run downstairs, move them over, then go back up, and so I would just work that in. So for me, it was you know eight changes of clothes that I would carry with me. Um, if you can carry an extra monitor with you, I would strongly suggest you having an extra monitor. We yeah. talk about things to that, that will help tremendously. Um, especially, you know, when you're important photos doing stuff, I mean, you can just have that extra screen doing things. Uh, that's what I have. So yeah, extra monitor. And they also sell these, these little portable monitors that are even for a laptop, they look like a tablet and they fold up like they have a cover, like a tablet, but all it is is just a monitor and you just set it up off to the side there. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could use an iPad. Well, I mean, I don't know. Will that work with the PC? I don't know. I don't know. There's probably a lot of different ways. I mean, monitors monitors are so cheap. (laughs) Yep. I mean, that was like $200 for that TV right. right there. Well, you get these 17 inch, you know, portable monitors, LCD, LED monitors that, you know, I think it was 160 bucks is what I paid. Mm-hmm. Well, did you just not change that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Nobody knows. Uh, if you're listening to this, you can't see what we just did. Don't worry about it. So, uh, so that I would strongly suggest a second monitor if you can get it. And even when you're working in a help center, I mean, I had a second monitor and I just went, when I was working in the help center, I just set myself up over there with two monitors, man, just working away. You know, um, it it is a definite productivity enhancer yeah. when you're when you're busy. Uh, what else? What do you think about like a, a, a um, I was gonna say external mouse, but just like a plug-in mouse or like a USB mouse? Yep. Bluetooth USB mouse. Yep. Because um, this can get. I mean, those laptops. That State Farm. I don't know if they still. I know they're they're giving out. I would little, use the, I had a brand spanking new one. Do they have the little red button in the middle? No, okay. no. no, no that's when I first I had touchpads, it was the mouse that had the little. It wasn't a mouse trackpad. It was a little. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you just like HPs have those things. Yeah, uh, I was lucky. Mine. I was the first person to ever use mine. It was pristine and clean nice. and everything. I, matter of fact, everything I had was first still time have use, AOL on it, except for no. Uh, the only thing that wasn't brand new that I had was the camera. 
and uh, that thing crapped out after about three days. I had yeah. to get me a, another camera. Um, but yeah, so I would say a monitor is a must. Uh, bring yourself. A, they provide you with a mouse, um, a, one with a, a corded mouse. You know, um, you're not supposed to hook up anything other than what they gave you to their computers. Um, you can get away with some stuff. You know, I mean, like especially if it's like a Microsoft wireless mouse, it's those drivers and everything are already built into right, it. Right. So they're just plug and play and move on. So um, everybody else, you're using your own equipment, so it doesn't matter. But what else was it? Um, cases of water. Um, yeah. Really important when you're going, because you're going to places that have been hit pretty hard. Okay. Water is a commodity that um, in the back of my truck. Like whenever, a Mad Max. I guess, yeah. You know. I'm not, when I took off for a deployment, I had no less than four cases of water in the back of my truck um, whenever I took off. Yeah. Um, and, and I would go through them. Because water was, sometimes you get there when you first get to an area, there's nothing in the stores. Yeah. There's absolutely, I mean, you think the toilet paper scare earlier this year was bad. Huh, okay. Right. Go to a place right after a big storm and there's no water on the shelf. And, uh, and I would take, uh, you know, a couple of days of food, you know, a, a few days worth of food, make sure that you've got some food. Because again, you may go to an area where everything's closed or, Everything's crowded. It's so yeah. crowded. It the lines are forever, and so you don't. You know, time is a as a as a commodity Huge. that uh, you don't get back. And so, sitting in line at you know a drive-through or standing in line at a restaurant to get fed is just not enjoyable. Um, you will find out waking up early and going to Waffle House or Denny's or somewhere like that becomes your friend. You know, because that may be the only meal you see for the next fourteen hours, and then that can happen because again. Places are busy. People are, you know, a lot of people are in town and uh, most people don't wake up early. So, right, right. Uh, but those, but as far as what you bring with you, I always bring extra food um, with me. I bring, um, you know, that as many changes of clothes, at least a week's worth of clothes. And that way I only have to do, if I've gone for two weeks, I'm only doing laundry once, right. you know. Um, the monitor is a big thing for me. And then water. Water is pretty, I mean, I can't stress enough about bringing cases of water yeah. and uh, and having those with you. And it may be that, and this is not common, but, you know, sometimes the water system may have been affected. And so yep. the, the hotel might be like, or the or the campground, if you're part, if you've got an RV, they may say, listen, you got to boil water. Or you got to not, don't use the water right now until we tell you to, or we get it tested or whatever. Right. Um, I would add to that. And again, with the food thing, Jared Allen from Bully Bag. Yeah, he brings like a like a box full of Progresso soup, and he with the pull tabs on. Yep, and he's I've like, got a bunch of those. Like, like a plastic spoon. I mean, I just chow down. So I'm I'm gonna bring peanut butter is your friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring extra Cougar Paw pads. Yep. Right. Yep. I'm gonna bring my bin's gonna have all the extra chalk because on, on a hail deployment, that's the thing you run out of. And then you chalk. go to Target, and for some reason, not every Target has sidewalk, sidewalk chalk. chalk you're like where's the sidewalk chalk what um you know the stuff that you little kids run oh we don't have any of that they got everything else but they don't have that um or you know and then you go to home depot and you get the soap stones instead so but uh printer paper printer yeah. cartridges those things yeah. like you find yourself like halfway through a 17 page estimate print and it's it starts gray lines and then it's like you know nine pages of nothing and you want to be able to like see that stop it pop in a new cartridge and keep rolling you don't want to have to stop walk up to the insured and say hey listen you know if you're, if you're closing on site or whatever if my email printer to you. cartridge went out and i gotta go i'm gonna staples is i'll be right back you know you don't want to do that you want to be always everything that we do is revolves around saving time Yep. Because the number one thing that separates us as property as, as independent adjusters is that we're closing claims, a volume of claims, and the more claims we can close, the more work the more, you have. The more work, yeah. So the more work we're going to have, we're going to be we're going to get more work done in a shorter period of time, which is going to show up on our paycheck. They give claims to the people that are producing, that are turning claims over, right? So you're going to get more claims on your deployment versus the guy 
who only closes an average of three claims a day, if you're closing in six claims a day, they're going to give you more claims. You're going to get more claims out of that right. swarm, even if you're both there at this, for the same amount of time. And you'll probably stay there for longer. And because you have higher production, then you start to kind of inch up into the superstar range on the roster so that you're going to get more deployments. They're going to send out the, the six claim a day, eight claim a day people out before they send out the three claim a day people. Right. Yep. So I'm going to get five deployments, you know, where I'm closing six or seven claims a day over the three claim a day guy who might do two deployments and complain that there's no work. Right. right? Or it's, he's on Facebook or social media, like whining and bitching about it. And well, this is the reality of it. And da, da, da. The reality is you just got to work harder and better. Yeah.